Hey guys, before I actually insult the Halloween community, I'm going to kind of get to their level and their understanding and show a little bit of compassion. First of all, I get it. I get why a lot of you dislike it. You were misled. Trust me, it's happened before. That's why I don't really watch trailers anymore, because I was misled years ago with the film Crimson Peak. But anyway, <laughs> we're not talking about that film, so I do kind of get why are it pissed off because it kind of hyped up the whole it i get it but there's nothing wrong with the film <laughs> there's actually nothing wrong with the film i enjoyed it quite well it was something different and i think that's the issue and i think franchises should just give up and not do stuff like this because people apparently don't like change and again it's probably because you've been misled by the trailer I can understand but if you get past that trailer there's nothing wrong with the film I enjoyed it I really enjoyed it like <clears throat> I like how they involve like a second person into it and how that actually happened I, I I did actually really like like that idea I know a lot of people disliked it I enjoyed it it was something different to, well not something different in like horror kind of films as such but it was something different in the Halloween franchise and yeah I'm I'm not gonna call you all babies but I'm gonna imply it just just a little bit I mean there's a lot more there's not much I mean there's horror but it happens like near the end so that could be why you're all pissed off I mean I get it sort of but I kind of annoyed by you because it's because I went into this thinking it was going to be shit and it actually isn't which you're probably thinking why would you be annoyed by that I just, it just annoys me how you're in, how you're annoyed by a film that's actually really good um <laughs> So you've not actually seen this film. It's not, as I said, the horror mostly happens near the end when he, when it all kind of kicks off. I don't want to spoil it to you because if you've not seen it, I still want you to see it. But be open-minded. Um, a lot of the film is literally, like more than half the film is literally kind of just like drama. But it has like that psych psychological thing with that boy. It's 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 an enjoyable like I feel that because I'm so open and I watch loads of different types of films and stuff like that I'm kind of open to kind of stuff like this that's probably why I did enjoy it I don't know <laughs> I don't know because at this point I feel I'm the only one who's enjoyed who actually enjoyed the film now I'm going to mention some spoilers at the end so I'm going to count to zero I'm going to and then after that if you're still here it's your own fault five four three two one so, right. so at the end, I believe I the dragged it out a little bit. It was a bit weird having the parade with the body on the car, but <laughs> and then chucking him in that like thing that destroys the car material. I'm gonna assume, but anyway, I feel that they should have ended it where he was on the table. He's dead. I either have one of them just unmask. Just all I'm asking <laughs> was them to unmask it. <laughs> all through this and knowing this fan I was like please just unmask him and they never did and it's just annoying at this point they've kind of left it because the, if you know the Halloween franchise they kind of they confuse themselves anyway because at first they were like oh no it's not her brother it's you know some other random stranger and then one film it's like oh no he's a bro just um all I wanted was an unmask that's that's all I asked for that's all I asked for <laughs> and I think then it would have ended perfectly just unmask see the mask and then end credits I think the ending was a little bit kind of dragged out a little bit it just it would have been more, I found it would have been more impactful but that's the only like it's not really even an issue with the film but I thought there was nothing wrong with it if I was to rate it if it's to, if I was to rate it, I'm gonna you know what I'm gonna rate it out of ten. Actually, forget that. I'm gonna put them in order <laughs> of like rankings of the films. So the first, not obviously the whole franchise, but you know these this trilogy. The first, actually, they do go in order. You know, first, second, third. Actually, yeah. I still don't think th th I still don't think this film's that bad. I think yours being a bit drama queeny to be fair um but yeah that's the order i put it in anyway the order of 
of the best is in order of how it's numbered <laughs> which just happens to be but so rate this out of 10 I'd give it I'd give it a 7 out of 10 like it's not a bad film I enjoyed it I was entertained um as moments as like what the hell is happening <laughs> just because obviously now there's two kind of people involved and stuff but I I I don't see any I don't I I Please explain to me. No, seriously, comment why you don't like this movie. If it's because there's not enough slasher, then okay, I can understand. If it's because you're misled by the trailer, yeah, I can definitely understand. But can you not be a little bit more... I will say, okay, saying that, I will say the end, like, final versus kind of thing was, I mean, I, that was a little bit disappointing because I was expecting it, I let the fight to be a little bit more longer. It's like like two minutes not even that one minute it wasn't that kind of suspenseful so it would have been cool if those two fought a little bit longer um so yeah I do give it I mean yeah it was okay <laughs> I will give it that but other than that I just, just comment just just put your comments why you just like this film because I thought it was all right like the people the thing is people were overreacting like the dramatizes oh this is a, such a shit film <laughs> and it's not a shit film it's a good film it's just not the it's not the halloween movie you were expecting but just because it wasn't the halloween movie you were expecting it doesn't mean it was a shit movie you know what i mean like do you, do you get what i mean guys do you get what i mean i don't know i don't know maybe i'm just more open-minded when it comes to kind of like films and stuff but i mean this is probably a lesson to all franchises, you know, like Scream, don't bother doing anything different, don't, because no one's going to like it, your fans are going to like it, and they're going to say it's shit when really it's, it's not that shit. But yeah, that's it for this review, so bye guys.